Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining today. This is your host Nino inviting you to a very special episode. For the first time in something like 30 years, I will be baking again. See, we had here this gingerbread dough and it was quite a fight to get it at the time. But then somehow we never got around to making cookies. And when we checked its validity date two weeks ago, it was already gone for two weeks. So my sweet wife, who is very much directed towards keeping the family healthy and eating only good food, suggested that I throw this out. But this is my glory, the spoils of my toils. I cannot possibly just toss this gingerbread dough. And so I decided, be a man, bake cookies. Now, as you can see, these are evidently guy cookies. These are not woman cookies, hence they look terrible. I do plan on sugarcoating things and then baking that and then seeing how this gingerbread of over a month past its validity date is gonna fare. I mean, it's gingerbread. It's not gonna detonate on me. So let's see what happens. And when I said sugar coat, I really meant with sugar. And I also added butter. If you ask yourself why, let me quote Homer Simpson. I read that in a men's health magazine in a dream. So this goes into the oven. Wish me luck here from the guy who brought you the rotten tropical cocktail of no more good food. Fruits comes the next Great accomplishment, guy cookies. All right, I think it is time to remove the first batch of guy cookies from the oven and see how things went. So this is what they look like. I think it is time to remove them and to try them out, right? Well, and here I'm wrong, this one is still a little bit raw. Like, very good, but raw. So back into the oven they go. Now they baked for another 10 minutes and oh my god, they're really good. The idea with the butter sugar icing totally worked. The recipe was suggesting that we also use egg white and whatnot and milk. But you know, these are primitive guy cookies. We don't do these luxuries. We leave these things to our competent female better halves and we just enjoy things as they are rough and tasty now of course i know what you're thinking man you've got balls to make such ugly cookies and as a matter of fact you are right here are the balls of the remaining dough so that i can more properly squash them into new Cookies. I'm going to reuse the same baking paper because that's what guys do. Now ready for the second round and the only things these cookies needed more than sugar and butter is more sugar and more butter for a round of the least healthy cookies this house has ever seen. When I was a kid, more than 30 years ago, with my paternal grandma, I was baking cookies and there was a cookie recipe and it had an amount of sugar and you know I tripled it and these cookies were awesome even my awesome granny said that these were very good cookies so let us just repeat this for the sake of good old times over three decades ago after all if Frankenstein can create a monster then a normal guy should be able to create a bunch of abnormal cookies why abnormal, you ask? Because this dough is one of the stickiest things I have ever experienced and barely ever lets go of one's skin. So into the oven these go and let's see how things are going to proceed. This is the end, da -da -da -da. my only friend, the end. And all the cookies are insane, the end. 
So my dear viewers, this is the second batch of man cookies. I am sure that, well, speaking of apocalypse now, Captain Willard would have preferred in the jungles of Vietnam a nice batch of gingerbread cookies rather than having to kill Captain Kurtz. I mean, just imagine your, your assignment is to eat this bunch of cookies. Well, we will put that to the practical test. If the family rather would kill Colonel Kurtz than to eat these cookies, then I have failed. But that we shall see later on. To you, thank you very kindly for having joined in today. I hope we shall join forces again for future adventures. Until then, have a wonderful time. And from me, goodbye.